And joining us from Gombe State is a 200-level student of mechanical engineering at the Ahmadu Bello University, ABU Osman Dalhatu, who invented manual ventilator to aid in the treatment of coronavirus. Thank you, Osman, for joining us, and how are you? I'm fine. How are you too? Fine, thank you very much. Now, what made you get involved in, in fixing ventilators in the first place? Okay, what makes me go into the manufacturing of ventilator is due to the poor healthcare system we have in Africa. And the coronavirus is spreading <clears throat> very fast. So the key, um, the key uh, saving life for the health problem is the use of the ventilator, which I see uh, the ventilator is very um, expensive and it is not even sufficient in the developed countries. Now, you're just a 200-level um, student, mechanical student. What, what background knowledge or experience do you have prior to your invention? Okay, I, I used to invent so many products which I have been selling, uh, so many of my inventions which are currently in the market. Uh, for example, I've invented a portable sweeping machine which is used for sweeping tad rod interlocks and other surfaces, including the mini oven and chopping board, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So this is my background. I invent a lot of uh, things. Now tell me, um, what, by, has any organization, has any government um, official agency reached out to you yet on this, your invention? Yeah, so so many private sector have been calling me, but no one, uh, no any tangible organization will talk about the mass production of the ventilator. And are you by any way sourcing for funds? I mean, do you need some kind of funding for, for your ventilator? No, no, no. I currently don't uh, get any funding, except from Kaduna ICT Hub. I have gotten funding of, uh, of the promotion of the product that's from Kaduna ICT Hub. Yeah. Okay, now tell us, has anyone benefited from, from your ventilator so far? Is it in use anywhere? <laughs> yes, uh, we have uh, launched it out. We gave it to Federal Teaching Hospital in Gombe, which they have tested it and certified it for us. All right, Usman, thank you for your time and thank you for joining us on News on the Hour. Okay, thank you.